Hey ladies and gentlemen, uh, I was in prayer all morning and uh, I believe Jesus Christ gave me a message for you. You know that in the Bible it's prophesied about the great falling away. I believe Matthew 24, and it's all over scripture, warns that uh, there will be false prophets, lying signs and wonders that will perform lying signs and, one, lying signs and wonders, even if possible to deceive the very elect. Islam and other false faiths are prophesied in the Bible under idolatry, false gods, pagan gods, Jesus Christ warning you against them. Jesus Christ also warns you that these false faiths are part of the falling away. Jesus Christ warns you that these false faiths, including Islam, will perform lying signs and wonders, even if possible, to deceive the very elect. Now, um... Jesus Christ also warns of false prophets, uh, false gods, false Christs. Muhammad is a false prophet Jesus Christ warned about, as well, like I said, other false faiths that have their own false teachers and false prophets and false Christs. Um, the Lord also warned about if you don't have the knowledge, without the, without the knowledge or you without the proper knowledge, and if you reject the true knowledge, which is wisdom from God, you shall perish. Because you don't have the knowledge that you need to stay away from sin, to know what is a sin and what is not a sin. With that being said, I was watching a video this morning about how a the video was entitled, Christian Loses Debate to Islam and Converts to Islam. Now, this Christian was stupid, and I'm just going to be real and say it, okay? Because this Christian didn't do his research. Had he done his research, he would have been not only ready for the debate, he would have ripped that, I'm not going to say ripped that, he would have wiped that Muslim with the floor. He would have wiped the floor with that Muslim. And I know I would have wiped the floor with that Muslim. With all the knowledge, they, praise be to God, that I gained about that religion. Now, the, reli the debate was centered around, <clears throat> is Jesus the Son of God? Now, this... Uh, this Muslim hit him with a couple of false verses, like trying to say that, well, the, the, in the Quran, Muhammad makes a claim that Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. He denies the Trinity, and he says that Allah, uh, Allah deceived the Christians by making them think it was Jesus Christ, but it was actually Judas Iscariot that died on the cross. That is the most preposterous, stupidest, biggest load of crap I've ever heard, first of all. And, um... He also made, uh, this Muslim's uh, debate was centered on another point that uh, Jesus Christ was just a messenger. Now, I have no idea why this Christian lost to this debate. Now, this Christian obviously doesn't have a brain because he obviously went into that debate unprepared. Now, I'm going to explain the part about Jesus being the Son of God, and I've explained this to you before. Jesus claims deity in the Bible. It's all over the scriptures. Even the demons acknowledge Jesus as the Son of God. They called him the Holy One, the Son of God. Have you come to judge us? Even the demons feared Jesus Christ and still do. They don't fear humans. They fear Jesus Christ. Okay? And if they fear a human, it's because of Jesus Christ. Okay? But I'm saying that they fear Jesus Christ. They, they tremble in terror in front of the Most High God, Jesus Christ. So they acknowledged Jesus Christ was the Lord of all. He was the Son of God. The Pharisees, they wanted to blast, they wanted, let me say it again, they wanted to crucify Jesus Christ because they say that he spoke blasphemous things. They say that the blasphemous things Jesus Christ spoke, that the Pharisees heard, was that he claimed to be God, the Son of God, the one who can forgive sins. The only one that can forgive sins is God. And Jesus said that he has authority to forgive sins, meaning he is God. That's why the Pharisees wanted to um, crucify Jesus Christ. 500, um, oh, and the disciples, they witnessed the miracles Jesus Christ performed, and they knew he was the Son of God. Not only that, John Baptist prophesied him the birth of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, was prophesied by the prophet Isaiah, who is not even mentioned in the Quran, by the way. And he was prophet by prophet um, Jeremiah, Enoch. I mean, all of the righteous prophets of old. Okay. Um, when Jesus Christ is 
crucifixion, death, and resurrection, it was witnessed by thousands. 5,000 people, more thousands, witnessed when Jesus Christ said he's the Son of God. The resurrection of Jesus Christ, 500 brethren witnessed it. The disciples witnessed it. Many witnessed it. Many heard him say that he is the Son of God, that he is God. And many saw his miracles. Now, you sit there and you tell me, where in the Bible is Muhammad mentioned? You will have a Muslim say, oh, he's mentioned in Solomon 5. Song of Solomon chapter 5. The Comforter. I'm going to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Solomon chapter 5 is talking about Jesus Christ. It is not talking about a pedophile false prophet who is a sinner. The living God is not going to send a sinner as your comforter because the living God who is Jesus Christ cannot be in the presence of sin. The comforter spoken of by Jesus Christ is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit said in the book of Acts that he was going to depart uh, the disciples. Okay? And when he departs them, he was going to leave them with the Holy Spirit. Even Apostle Paul saw him. He said the same thing as well. Prophet Paul is a prophet. The Muslims deny him because Prophet Paul totally, totally refutes the Quran. And he also supports and prophesies future events that are going to happen. Now, he also prophesied and spoke about the gospel of Jesus Christ. Nowhere in the, in the Bible is Muhammad mentioned, not even his birth. The only thing that references Muhammad or Islam is about false prophets, false Christ, demons, um, idolatry. And Jesus Christ said to be aware of them, that they will perform lying signs and wonder, even if possible, to deceive the very elect. Muhammad's not mentioned anywhere in the scriptures, not even in the book of Enoch. So if you Muslims try to sit there and say, oh, he was mentioned by Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ never said Ahmed. It's not in the Bible. It must be in the perverted satanic Bibles. But the true word of God, which is the KJV and the, and, uh, the NKJV, he's not mentioned there. Jesus Christ cries out, Abba, Abba, not Allah. Abba, Abba Father. He cries that out when he's on the cross. Ahmed is not mentioned anywhere. So you have the Muslim twisting the scripture saying that Jesus Christ prophesied that pedophile sicko. But he never did. Muhammad made up Islam. It is man-made. It is written by the devil. I've already shown you proof yesterday that the Quran calls Allah the greatest of deceivers. And the Bible calls the greatest of deceivers the father of lies, which is Satan. Satan is the author of the Quran. Jesus Christ is the author of truth, which is the word of God, which is the Holy Bible. That's the perfect word of God. In the Quran, you have one man's testimony. One man saying he heard from the Apollo, from, from God. In the Bible, you have more than one prophet of old. One, more, than one, one, more than one righteous prophet of old that heard from the word of God. And the messages are consistent and true. Muhammad's is false teachings. You have the Hadith, a collection of Muhammad's life and testimonies. Many inconsistencies in there too. And in there he teaches that women are deficient in intelligence and most women are end up in hell. That's how much Muhammad thinks of women. And he encourages women being beat. He beat one of his wives until she was black and blue. Listen to the point I'm trying to make you ladies and gentlemen. There is a great falling away taking place. And part of that great falling away is prophesied by the Bible, by the prophets of old, long time ago, the righteous prophets of old. Islam is part of that deception. It is deception, as well as the other false face that will cause many to fall away because it's happening now. The ultimate great falling away will be when the Antichrist is revealed. Revealed. Do I believe Islam will be the one world religion? I don't know. I believe it's a very strong probability because people that are falling for those lies do not have the knowledge. They don't arm themselves with the, with the word of God. With the word of God to teach them that that religion is not of God. It is a religion of Satan. It is a false faith. 
just like the other false faiths are. If you are going to debate a Muslim, let me tell you something, ladies. If you're going to debate a Muslim, do your homework. You know how many Muslims I shut up? I can't even count. More than 30? And you know what the response is when I prove them wrong? They curse at me. They say, you don't know your stuff. Even though I show them scriptures out of their hadith and the Quran, disproving Islam, you know, proving Islam is wrong and, and false, they still curse at me and they say, you don't know your facts. And then they start giving me these man-made websites. I was like, is, this is in your Quran. You know, why are you giving me man-made websites? Oh, the commentary for Muslim scholars. Why are you giving me? This is what your Quran says. Your Quran says, kill the Jews, kill the Christians. This is where your Quran teaches. And when I prove to you, it's in your Quran. When I prove to them it's in their Quran and that Islam is false, they get upset because they know they've been exposed. If a Christian converts to Islam because they lost a debate, that's because they lack the knowledge to counteract, to defend the faith, to counteract that attack from that Muslim. They lack the knowledge. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. It is no brainer to know that Islam is false. Just by the few verses that I told you alone. The ones I told you yesterday. I told you to watch David Woods. He breaks it down for you. Watch his videos. Get a Quran yourself. Look in there like I'm doing. And you will see that everything he's saying is true about Islam. It is a false faith. What kind of a God is going to allow you to beat your wife? What kind of a God is going to... um? justify pedoph pedophilia to a false prophet what kind of a god is going to get a false prophet to prophesy his messages when he can't even read or write and what kind of a god is going to come out with the with um his so-called word in one language which is arabic okay what about those other people that don't know arabic mr allah how do you expect them to get your word if they don't know the language? How are they supposed to, how is Muhammad supposed to prophesy to the masses if the Quran is only in one language and the, uh, and the masses doesn't know Arabic? And how are they supposed to prophesy when your false prophet doesn't even know how to read or write? That's how small Allah is, a very limited false god because... First of all, he comes he only knows one language, Arabic. And secondly, he's stupid enough to get a false prophet that can't even read or write that won't even be able to deliver these false messages. Now, if you compare Jesus Christ to Allah, who's the devil, Jesus Christ has the Bible in many languages. Jesus Christ has prophets of old, righteous prophets that can read and write and can deliver his messages. Jesus Christ is loving and just, and he teaches you to love your fellow man. You see the difference, ladies and gentlemen? There's no way that the Quran, that false God in there, is attributes of the true living God. Allah has 99 names, as you've seen in the video that I put up. One of them is the mischief and the destroyer. Destroyer of nations. That's not God's name. God doesn't destroy nations. He, he raises nations and he puts them down, right? If they defy him. But God doesn't set out to destroy nations just for kicks, just for pleasure. Allah does, the false God. Every false faith other th besides Islam, including Islam, is exposed because they are not of God. That includes Hinduism, Buddhists, Catholics, Wicca, Satanism, all false idols, and when Jesus Christ returns, he's going to wage a righteous war, and all of these false idols will be under the feet of my Father, Jesus Christ, who is God, the very same God of Abraham.